Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel that takes you deep inside the San Francisco 49ers. I am your host, Jack Hammer, and today we're going to take a look back at one of the 49ers defensive players who had a dominant season in 2022, although it went unnoticed by many. You know, when the 2022 season started out for the 49ers, they had high price for agent edition, Traveris Ward on one corner and Emmanuel Mosley on the other. Over the first five weeks of the season, Emmanuel Mosley played at an extremely high level. Some would say near elite, and he allowed a pass rating of just 66.9 over the course of that five week stretch. Unfortunately, late in that week five game out in Carolina, he tore up his knee, missed the rest of the season. In came Diamond Lenore. Now, Lenore was a second year cornerback, and for the most part, you know, people remembered him for what happened in 2021 when he struggled as a rookie, gave up a game winning play against the Grammy Packers. Wasn't a touchdown, but gave up a big play that allowed the Packers to get in the field goal position. That was early in the season. Later on, when there were some injuries to the secondary, it wasn't Lenore that took over, but Ambry Thomas. Well, in 2022, it was Lenore's time to play, and he made the most of it. You look back at what he did from week six on. Now, what's, why that's important is because that's when he took over, and that's when he moved out to the boundary. No more playing in the slot. He was out on the edge. And as a slot cor edge corner on the boundary last season, Diamond Lenore was definitely dominant. You look at his numbers, he allowed a passer rating of 66.8 from week six through the end of the playoffs, 66.8. He allowed 37 receptions on 72 targets. Less, just barely over 50% in terms of the number of receptions given up for Diameter and more. And like I said, 66.8, that was his total QB rating allowed. He had a one only one touchdown allowed to go with three interceptions. Back late in the season, around week 17, he struggled a little bit against Las Vegas. That was a game in which a lot of people started to think that he should be benched. Well, why would you bench a guy that was playing at such a high level? You look at the way that he performed and the way that the cornerback on the other side of him, remember, Traverius Ward's the guy that's getting all the money, right? Traverius Ward, from week six until the end of the regular season last year, gave up a passer rating of 99.75. You look at what these two guys did in the playoffs, and that is, again, that is where Diamond Lenore really separates himself from Charverius Ward, at least in their 2022 performances. In the playoffs last year, Lenore gave up two receptions on 14 targets. You heard me right. Just two catches on 14 targets given up by Diamondor Lenore last year in the playoffs. Pass rating allowed 16.96 in the playoffs against the best quarterbacks that you're going to face. Then you look at what Traveris Ward did. In the playoffs last year, Ward allowed 14 catches on 21 targets and a touchdown. Pass rating of 106.05. And what's interesting about this, again, is Ward is the guy who's getting the big bucks. He's the big free agent signing. He's supposed to be your number one cornerback. Typically, the guy who teams think feel is your number one cornerback get fewer targets. Well, that's not the case in San Francisco. Traverius Ward from week six to the end of the season was targeted 87 times compared to just 72 for Diameter Lenore. Like I said, over the second half of the year, Lenore found his groove and he was dominant. And that kind of dominance I would expect to grow here in 2023 now that Steve Wilkes has been brought on as the defensive coordinator. Wilkes, a defensive back guy, one of the first 49ers defense coordinator to have a defensive back background, I think he can bring out even more for Traver for Diamondo Lenore. Take his game maybe even to another level. Again, he was dominant last season, that being Diamondo Lenore. 66.8, the pass rating allowed for Lenore from week six, once he moved to the boundary, till the end of the season when they lost out in Philadelphia in the NFC Championship game. That's a dominant performance. When under the radar, definitely something to keep an eye on as the Fires go into 2023. Take it for what it's worth. Thanks for tuning into the channel. If you can do me a favor before you leave, hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button. And when you hit that subscribe button, please also turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the updates right here on Inside the Fires with Jack Hammer. Thanks again for watching. Take care, and we talk with you soon.